Best of East beating to Chelsea City legends Frank Bishop and Mick Loughton uh, ahead of the uh, trophy game against Wilson today. Frank, what's your favourite memories of uh, playing for Chelmsford? Oh, there's too many, uh, too many to mention, I think. Um, you know, under Mick, you know, playing under Mick uh, was probably my best time. Um, we had some, we had some good, good runs in the cups. Um, uh, I did come to the end that, you know, I think we played Kitty Minster in the trophy. I think that was quarter final or something like that back in the day. Um, but we did get to a couple of um, uh, Eastern Floodlit Cup Cup finals. I think we won a couple of them. But just overall, I mean, obviously, you know, I never played here. I played at New Riddle Street. The atmosphere was great. The supporters were superb. You know, they, you know, they, uh, they backed you and, uh, he yeah, had some great times, really great times. I think you scored over 100 goals for Champs. So what was your, your favourite goal, most memorable goal, most important goal? Well, it's funny, I was talking to Mick on the way down. We were talking about uh, a pre-season friendly against Cholton and I scored all four. We beat them 4-0. So that was obviously something that I was proud of that day. But um, I suppose one of the... We played Dagnum in the... Um, Essex Senior Cup Final at South End and, uh, and Dagnum was a good side and uh, we was losing 1-0 and uh, I can't remember what minute it was but it was probably near the end I, I scored an equaliser and everybody went mad and uh, we got a replay out of it, we lost but that was probably one of the, one of my mem best memories of scoring that goal so uh, you know and you mentioned it briefly there, New Riddle Street. Obviously, I went there a few times when I was younger. So, what was your your memories of that, the old stadium? Well, I think I think when I look back at New Riddle Street, it was probably for me, uh, it was like a football ground. It was like you know when you go to West Ham and you go to Tottenham and you see the floodlights and you see the stands. That was that's what New Riddle Street was. You know, it, the atmosphere that it created because of because of that. Um, it, it, it just made you feel like you were playing in a football league you know what I mean even though it was Southern League at the time non-league but you know the stadium was you know and coming down the tunnel yeah it was it, it was a great great feeling of coming out there and playing and the noise that you got you know the, 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 the main stand held about 1500 people so it was packed and it made a lot of noise and you know ardent terms of supporters you know was always behind you so yeah it was good it was good times good memories yeah and Mick uh, you you played as well before and then managed the club as well so a bit like Ro uh, current manager Robbie has so uh, sort of a, a similar journey yeah I can um, you know was lucky or fortunate to do both and obviously the the first days as a player um, the most memorable occasion was when we won the league the yeah. Southern League in them days and that was comparable to the Northern Premier League and winning that in I think it was 70, 71 long time ago now but um, that was probably the most satisfying time um, and then later on uh, becoming manager and you know it took a lot of pride in being a manager um, but they were bad times regarding the finances of the club you know they weren't in a very good state financially and um, the budget we had was very limited and um, but we got a lot of young lads from the local area um, with the likes of Frank adding to it and people like that um, we got a good little side together and um, we started to progress and um, you know make inroads then but the finances were got so bad at the time that uh, I remember losing most of the players overnight and we were due to play Folkestone in the FA Cup um, last qualifying round and uh, nearly all the players had to leave because there was nothing, no no money to pay them so it's a bit unfortunate but uh, you know overall uh, great time at Chelsea couldn't couldn't have wanted anything about um, I enjoyed my time more there and why I did when I was at Colchester so um, you know they were always a good club and they still are I think uh, on the way back now, perhaps, and uh, you hope anyway, yeah. uh, with a little bit of luck. So, uh, Have you got any advice to Robbie, sort of managing Chelsea City? <laughs> the present manager? Yeah. No, I think he's doing well. I think he's doing well. I think he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's about. Um, the results 
<laughs> you know, it's always under pressure a bit more at home and, and probably the results away have been better. But um, overall, I think if he's given time and, um, you know, they're patient, the supporters, then I'm sure, you know, he'll do a good job and he'll get them back where they belong. Um, they're getting there, but it's taken a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. And we've got uh, you know, a cup, a cup runs today. So, what was your memories of sort of? You mentioned it earlier about trophy cup runs. What was your well, best cup run? The one uh, that was uh, well, we had uh, one or two FA Cup for the third round where we played uh, Ipswich. Yeah. Uh, you know, we give them a good game, although they beat us three-one. But um, I can remember Wickham. Wickham. Wickham, yeah, we played Wickham. Um, drew up. Drew at Chelmsford and then beat them away. Um, FA Trophy, I remember going to get into the quarterfinals and going to Scarborough, playing Scarborough. Yeah. And, and we lost there 3 1, I think. So um, never got to the final, unfortunately, but um, got close, but um, not not close enough. But overall, had some good, good cup ties and good games in the FA Cup. Um, always seem to progress. and Overall, yeah, uh, but never achieved anything in the trophy, really, you know, apart from that Scarborough game. Yeah. Well, we played Whitby this season already, so we've been a bit further in the yeah. in the FA Cup, so yeah. 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 So, uh, Frank, what was your, you keep following the, cl the club now? I think every ex-player, um, you know, when you've been associated with a club for, you know, a, a good few years, like I was, like Mick was, like a lot of the players that, you know, are here today, you know, you, you always have a little look to see how they're getting on, you know, and uh, as Mick said, you know, Robbie's doing a good job, uh, he's his own man, he knows what he wants to, you know, what he wants from his players, and he's getting that, he's getting them, you know, that respect from them, and they've been doing, you know, not bad, so, um, yeah, but I just thought of another goal I scored, the one against Wickham in the FA Cup. That was that was probably Wickham, yeah. yeah took us to took us to Gillingham after that didn't it yeah we oh well, we got beat but um, yeah got, but we made the second one, round yeah that's what Sutton didn't you yeah a couple at Sutton yeah so yeah no but yeah the FA the FA Trophy is you know is, is the non-league FA Cup in it you know and and everybody wants to play at Wembley you know so uh, yeah. Hopefully these lads are, you know, experience that, you know, and uh, and I'll be envy of them. But yeah, you know, I wish them all the best. Okay, thanks for coming back to Chelmsford, Mick and, and Frank, and, and great catching catch, catching up with you. And uh, thanks for coming back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.